Praise Jesus, this is Evangelist Charles Kruger. Welcome to Love Born Live. This is a prophetic evening where we're going to call out the restoration in every area of our lives, every single area where the devil has been stealing, killing and destroying. Sevenfold restoration is yours in Jesus' name. Post your prayer requests in the comment. Get your communion elements ready and get your cup of Milo or hot chocolate or Ovaltine or whatever you want to drink. Get it ready. We're going to get in the presence of the Lord. Got some beautiful worship music on you. Christmas tree is up already. <laughs> So we're going, we're going, we're living forward. Amen. Bless you guys. Bless you. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over every prayer request, every comment, every person, every profile, everyone on this broadcast, on the live and the rerun. Father, bless this word, Lord. Let your hand be upon me to speak your word, Lord. Prophesy through me, Lord, and make your word come alive. These scriptures that we've got, Father... We're going to call restoration in every area of our lives, Father, and we thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your presence. We love you, Jesus. We love you and we adore you. We welcome you. And we're so honored and we're so privileged to know you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Susan K. Richardson from Texas. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Well, uh, Helen Andrea, bless you. Vicky Moyer. Also from Texas. You guys from Texas are everybody's watching from Texas tonight. Bless you, Petru Miller. PJ from Iowa, USA. Bless you. Kelly Williamson, Austin, Texas. Monia, Yuki, Bogo, Zaka, Televede, Beredevi. Kelly Williamson, Andrea, Greece. Hello from Greece. Hel Helen, how are you? How's your father doing? Bless you in the name of Jesus. Bless your dad. Father, 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 give Gaza Kata. Let there be restoration in Helen's family in Jesus' name. And Hichu as well here in South Africa. Zaga de Galamanko Toloboso. Betsy de Beer, Louisa Seymour, Jacqueline, Molin Smock. Good morning from Texas. Man, you guys are a whole bunch of guys from Texas. What's happening there? Welcome, Texas. Monica, bless you from Heidelberg. Zagreb Vizikiti. Oh, tonight's going to be awesome. Guys, I feel it in my heart. Washington, Sumner, USA. Kevin, bless you. You guys from the United States are going to be so, so excited. Because I'm starting, hopefully from tomorrow morning. Probably from tomorrow morning. 6 a.m. That's South African time. 6 a.m. So that'll be about 9, 10 p.m. You don't have to stay up at 2 a, until 2 a.m. Tennessee, Kathleen Kendrick. Tennessee, what time, what time is it in Texas? And what time is it in Tennessee? Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. So yeah, I'm going, I'm, I'm starting one 6 a.m. as well. So we're going to be praying 6 a.m. That's South African time. And uh, that'll, that'll be about uh, well, around 10, 10 p.m., 10, 11 in the U.S., because the different time zones, it's just we have to just, uh, you know, make it easy for every and accessible for everybody. Zagal dan evende beredi visu. 11 a.m. Okay, that's good. That's not too bad. That's 11 a.m. So 6 a.m. would be, that's about 10, 10, 11, also 11 in Texas. Awesome. Jean, bless you. Hi from all over the world. Hi, Indicate, New York. Bless you. <laughs> Indicate, Rose, bless you. Zanga, Zeke, Tebe, Rere, Keto. Well, guys, I'm not joking. I'm not playing. I'm telling you, I feel in my spirit restoration. This is a time for restoration. This is an evening for restoration every now and then. Bless you, Alabama. Bless you, AM. Also AM. 11 AM. So, <laughs> whoo, glory. The Lord is saying, Shegra Gazeki Televeti. Also 11 AM in Iowa. My goodness, are you all on the, like, the same timeline? Must be. So what is it about 6, a, 6 PM and 11 AM? So I'm going, I'm still keeping this 11 AM ones. In the mornings here in South Africa, we're going to study the word. But we're going further. I'm going to go on three times now. And God, God help my voice. 
but what I see in the spirit, so I'm pressing towards something prophetic. You don't have to join every three. I mean, come on, every day, all the sessions, but it will be good. What I see in the spirit is there is coming live broadcast that'll be like live from the morning till the evening in these, in the revivalists and men of God and just normal sons of God rising up in the earth, manifesting the glory of God in the kingdom. And I see this in the spirit and I know it's a prophetic insight that the Lord has shown me that they will be, instead of your profile giving updates, they will be live. And this is maybe in 10 years time, five years time, who knows? But they will be live, a live feed that people can tune in anytime on your live feed, on your profile, where they'll see exactly what you see. And they'll look through your eyes and they'll see what's happening in your life. And people's going to do this voluntarily. It's not going to be forced, but, but most people's going to do it voluntarily because you know how people are. <laughs> and so this is an awesome platform. This is awesome time to manifest sonship. Imagine you tune into somebody's profile and there's this live video. And when they get up there in the presence and they lay their hands on the sick and the people in the street get born again and the crowds follow them and I mean cities get shaken. I mean how many people will receive an activation and an impartation. So yeah, we're stepping into the next. Praise the Lord, it's time. It's time for a next level. So praise the Lord. The Lord started speaking to me seriously about restoration. Every so often there will be an, a time of restoration and a broadcast where the Lord will say focus on the restoration I want to restore my people this morning what the Lord said is he's restoring hope he's restoring hope to the people Vanga, so we prayed in tongues for an hour just restoring hope it was an awesome session this morning it was really really anointed glory glory man I, afterwards I just sat there and I just continued in the glory I just couldn't leave the prayer center it was just amazing and uh, so the Lord said now, the hope of restoration. So restoring hope and the hope for restoration is tonight's broadcast. So there is hope for restoration, the Lord says. And we're going to read some scriptures. And the first scripture that we're going to is Jeremiah 33. And let's jump right into it enough with the nonsense talk. Let's get going. Saka baga jeki paka tolo boko toro bota. Isaiah 33 This is a restoration chapter So we're going to read Isaiah 30 Ugh, Excuse me Jeremiah 33 Not, Je not Isaiah <laughs> Well maybe we must go and see what Isaiah chapter 33 says I'm going to put the music softer Thank you Father for your anointing on this word Thank you Lord that you will speak to us You will prophesy You will teach You will encourage lord you will establish us in your word tonight lord because we want to pray we want to make our petitions known with thanksgiving today and enforce the finished work of the the victory of the cross of calvary and the resurrection of the christ and the ascension of the christ who is now seated at the right hand of the father we want to see heaven on earth we want to see the manifested kingdom we want to see your kingdom at hand we want to see signs wonders and miracles power to be released upon the face of the earth, Lord, through our hands, through your sons, through your sons and daughters in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we need restoration. You said in your word, is there nobody that cries, restore. And Lord, we are calling out, restore. You said, you promised in your word that I will restore the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar and the locusts have eaten. And he says, revive now, revive now the work in the work of thy hands in the midst of the years. Let there be revival. Let there be restoration as we read Jeremiah 33. This is just a reference I saw. I didn't read it. I didn't prepare anything. The way we do it is we show up and allow the Holy Spirit to talk. So we're going to read it. Jeremiah 33. I, I remember there's a few scriptures in Jeremiah 33 that's actually very powerful. So I'm excited to see what the Lord... I haven't read it in a while. And I'm excited to see what the Lord is going to say to us tonight. But we have to cry restore. There are people that need restoration. And I mean, there's not one person on this broadcast that doesn't need a restoration. There's not one family that doesn't need a restoration. There's not one business after the year that we've had. Well, some businesses did very well. I know my ministry exploded. It was awesome. I just, wow, Jesus, wow. 
I, I said, Lord, let it let the lockdowns be extended because this is awesome. I just had such a good time with the Lord in fellowship with the Lord. Glory. Wow. I mean, we grew spiritually like not, nobody's business, this lockdown here in South Africa. <laughs> Amen. I don't know what else. What else the people could do? Everybody started praying in South Africa. <laughs> don't know what about the rest of the world. But anyway, and so Jesus wants us to be restored. We need to be restored. We need to be revived because there is coming a harvest of souls such as the world has never seen before. This is the restoration. He says the heaven must retain Jesus until the restitution of all things. You want Jesus to come back? The heaven must retain him until the restitution of all things. That's a scripture. If somebody would be so kind as to Google that and post the scripture reference so that we can all go there. I don't know. Google 5 verse 10 says... The heavens must retain him. <laughs> no, please, please, somebody be so kind. I'd like to be interactive with these broadcasts because we're all participants, amen, in the body of Christ, everybody, members in particular. And so the heavens must retain him until the restitution of all things. The Lord is excited about restoring you. And Father, tonight, we want to make our petitions known, Lord, as we come into the throne room of grace. By the blood of Jesus, where we can obtain mercy and grace for the times of trouble. Here in your presence, Lord. Here in the secret place of the Most High God. Oh man, I can, I can just sense the glory. I can just sense the presence of Jesus already in this room. How about you? Father, we need restoration. Lord, we're going to come and ask for restoration in finances, restoration in our health, restoration in families, in marriages, in businesses, in the work of our hands, in our cities, in our nations. Revive now the work of thy hands in the midst of the years. Remember us, Lord. You said you'll never forget us. You'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us, Lord. And so we ask you now, Lord, to revive, to bring restitution and restoration. Lord, sevenfold restoration for everything that's been lost or killed or destroyed. Everything that the devil has stolen. Everything that the thief has stolen. Everything that's been squandered. Lord, we ask for sevenfold restoration, even up to the entire substance of the whole household of Satan. Lord, the wealth of the wicked that's laid up for the just, we claim it in the name of Jesus and we lay hold on it, Lord, and we claim it that we will not be denied concerning your word, your promises, because, Lord, you said you honor your word above your name. Lord, you, you said your word will not return void. You're not a man that you should lie. Lord, your word, you watch over your word to perform it. Your word cannot change. We stand upon your word. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we claim restoration. We name it and we claim it tonight. Lord, you said concerning the work of my hands and my promises, give ye me command. We command, Lord, that our lives line up with the promises in your word that are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. No more sickness, no more blind, no more death. Lord, no more mentally ill. Lord, no more emotional baggage and turmoil. No more pain, no more suffering, no more sorrow, no more rejection issues, no more baggage. No more captivity and bondage, Lord, and enslavement. Set the captives free in Jesus' name. Return, Lord. Turn our captivity. Turn us, Lord, like streams in the Negev. Lord, shine streams in the south. Lord, so that we will be like them that dream. Just keep your finger there by Jeremiah 33. You're going to have to go to Psalms. Let me read that. Psalm 126. So this is a, this is the practice of the present presence of the Holy Spirit. This is this is where we participate and read together. So do get your Bible, otherwise you're gonna miss the whole idea. Man, where is it? Jesus said to me, "Don't just tell people to read Bible. Show them how." Do it with them. Facilitate the moving of the Spirit. And give it time for everybody to read Bible. So get your Bible. We're going to read the Word. Zaka baka zaka talamandu. 
Psalm 126 from verse 1 in the Amplified. When the Lord brought back the captives who returned to Zion, returned. The captives who returned to Zion. When the Lord brought back the captives who returned to Zion. Everybody say return. (laughs) Say it out loud. Say, Lord, I'm returning. There's a beautiful song that says, I have returned. To the God of my fathers, to the shepherd of Moses. Oh, return, restore, revive. This is what happens when the Lord turns your captivity. We were like those who dream. It seemed so unreal. Can you imagine the Lord restores you? Can you just imagine for a moment? That the Lord actually restores sevenfold what's been stolen from you your whole life and your your family for generations. He restores it all. How would you be? How, How would you be? It would seem unreal. Some people would be like them that dream. It's like, oh, how do you, how are you like them that dream? I cannot imagine. Shanga Raba Ketelebe, it will seem so unreal. Then were our mouths filled with laughter. Now he's prophesying it, man. If you can, if you can hear, he's talking, it's talking like it's past tense. So it's already for God, it's already done. Then were our mouths filled with laughter, but it's still coming. But in the heaven, it's already done. Because in the heavens, we've already been blessed with all spiritual blessings, heavenly places. Nothing can keep you. If you go intentionally and on purpose, if we go with a prayer of faith and agreement in this virtual prayer setting, in this corporate anointing, where he said, where two or three agree, touching anything, it shall be done by my Father, which is in heaven. We agree, we come together in agreement, we come together and put our faith together. We're standing in unity, nothing shall be impossible with our God. When we come together in unity, He commands His blessings. When people are together in unity, you have not tuned into this broadcast by chance or for some mistake, by some mistake. This is the hand of God, divine appointment that has led you here so that we can agree with you for restoration in your life. In the name of Jesus. It's time. And you're going to be like them that dream. And you're going to be. And then were our mouths filled with laughter. And you are about to walk right into the the memory of the future. You know that God remembers the future? Do you know that a prophet remembers what still needs to take place? You know how that pro- that works? Um, that's, that's how prophets receive their most... You know that prophets receive most of their prophetic words and prophetic messages like a memory. You, you remember what you did yesterday, some of you. Some of you can remember what you did this morning, early this morning. You remember what happened and you know it happened. And you know, you remember the conversation you had on the telephone. You remember the, the way, the, the advert that you saw on television. You remember. And nobody will tell you it didn't happen. You know that you know that you know that you remember it because it happened in the past and you were there and you saw it and you trust your memory. You know that God uses the same way to communicate His truths to you. But it's things that hasn't happened yet. But it's as if you were already there and it happened and you remember what must still happen. Do You know that that is a prophetic way to... That's, that's the prophetic way. That's the spirit of prophecy. To remember your future. Because <laughs> God finishes the end from the beginning. He is the first and He is the last. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the I Am. He, everything in Him we live and move and have our being. Amen. So we remember the future and this is the word of the Lord now. He says, Then were our mouths filled with laughter. Then were our mouths. It's like a memory. It's like it happened already. How can he say by his stripes we have been healed? Because he remembers the future. He sees the end. He sees the end from the beginning. This sickness will not be your end. You've got to remember the future. 
remember the finished work of the cross amen so this is the finished work and this is this is almost as if it sounds like it's past tense but you can take it and put it into your future and as a sure deal as an absolute yes and amen as an absolute you can take it as a yes and amen in Christ Jesus as if you are sealed with the earnest of your inheritance as if the holy and here you are if you are born again you are sealed with the earnest of your inheritance you are sealed with a down payment with the surety with the guarantee of the Holy Spirit himself the guarantee that you will inherit the Holy Spirit teaches us what things we have freely received of the Father so take this word for you this is a prophetic word maybe that helps somebody the Lord has done great things for them this is what they're going to say about you the Lord has done great things for us here he brings it he brings it right into a personal context we are glad Turn to freedom our captivity and restore our fortunes, O Lord, as the streams in the south, the Negev, are restored by the torrents. The Lord said to me, Restoration. Listen to Psalm 126, verse 4 in the Amplified. Turn to freedom our captivity and restore our fortunes. O Lord, as the streams in the south are restored by the torrents. God says, torrents, torrents. Can you hear the sound of the abundance of rain? You'll be walking around prophesying it and saying it for the last I mean, how many years. I hear the sound. I hear the sound of the abundance. I hear the sound of the abundance. You've been saying it over and over and over and over and over again. And the torrents are coming. The torrents are coming. And he says, Restore our fortunes, O Lord, as the streams in the south are restored by the torrents. The streams that look like it dried up. The streams that look like there's no hope. Like there's no way out. Like there will never be revival. Like it is an absolute impossibility. That God is not even interested. That He doesn't care. That He's absent. Like it feels like He's passive. That He's not mindful of it. That, that you feel like you've got to twist His arm just to get Him to do something. God says... The torrents are coming. You heard right in the spirit. You heard the future. You remembered the future. That there would be a day that he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And the heavens will open up. And there will be a downpour of living waters upon all flesh. On our sons and our daughters. And this is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The rivers of living water. The windows of heaven. The deep that call to deep. The torrents. The sound of the abundance of rain and this is God saying oh man I feel the anointing and I know I know the spirit of the Lord tonight I've got the witness of the Lord the sound of the abundance of rain the torrents are coming he's restoring you he's reviving the work in the midst of the years that your wilderness and your desert will be turned into a pool Oh okay now I don't know what scripture references anymore Let's go to Jeremiah 33. The heavens must retain him until the restitution of all things. What's the scripture reference there? Jeremiah 33. <coughs> so get your Bibles ready. I've got my hot chocolate ready. Come, Praga, Zeketi. Oh, that's nice. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah from verse 1, Jeremiah 33, the second time. Re, re, revive, restore, retell. So the, sec the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time. Re. While he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, where was he? He was in captivity. Psalm 126 says, when the Lord turned our captivity, we were like them that dreamed. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. The second, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the second time while he was yet in prison. 
shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it, to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword, so they in ruin. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury, and for all those on all whose wickedness I have hid my face from the city. Verse 6, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them. Here. Verse 6, Behold, I will bring it health and cure. Talking to the city. How about your city? I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return. Oh, come on, man. Woo. I didn't even know what is written in Jeremiah 33 and in Psalm 126. I kid you not. This is a word from the Lord. Come on. I love it when this happens. <laughs> and it happens all the time these days. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at the first. So it's restore. I will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. Glory. And it shall be to me a name of joy. A praise and an honor before me and before all the nations of the earth which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. <laughs> and they will call you blessed and say, Wow, the Lord has done great things for them. And it shall be to me a name of joy. Your name will be to him a name of joy. Because he's forgiven you and he's going to restore you. A praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good. Somebody say good news. Good news. They will hear the good news. Here he says, the nations of the world. He says, before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. Good news. The nations of the world will hear the good news of what God has done. They will hear all the good that I have done unto them. Wow. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Father, I take this word. Thus saith the Lord again, they shall be heard in this place, which ye say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man and without inhabitant and without beast, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride and the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for His mercy endureth forever and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise in the house of the Lord for I will cause to return for I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first say of the Lord he says in this land that is so dull there's nobody in it it's empty it's vacant it's abandoned in that city I will cause to be heard the voice of the bride and the bridegroom. I will cause to be heard the voice of them that say, Bless the Lord for he is good and his mercies endureth forever. <laughs> Restoration. Spirit of the Lord. Verse 12. Thus saith the Lord of hosts again in this place which is desolate without man and without beast and in all the cities thereof shall be a habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down in the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the vale, 
in the cities of the south and in the land of Benjamin and in the places about Jerusalem and the cities of Judah shall the flocks pass again under the hands of him that telleth them saith the Lord behold the days come saith the Lord that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah now unto whom was the promise made unto Abraham and his seed not seeds as of many like a certain race or ethnic group or people group no seed as of Christ so when you are in Christ this promise belongs to you the promise was made to the seed of Christ Jesus every promise is yes and amen in Christ Jesus every word every promise that was spoken over the nation of Israel okay the promise was made to the seed because from them would come the Messiah the seed they were keepers of the oracles of God and they handed handed it down generation to generation and that's why you can read the generations and the genealogies of Jesus Christ and when he came that was called that was the Christ generation hallelujah he was born and then Christ is the following generation the anointing and is anointed the anointed one and his anointing you can claim this promise for yourself because you are in Christ Jesus amen San Gabragete shall the flocks pass okay let's say verse 14 behold the days come saith the Lord that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah say say thank you Jesus that day is here where you perform what you have promised me in those days and at that time will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land in those days shall Judah be saved and Jerusalem shall dwell safely come on man and this is the name wherewith she shall be called the Lord our righteousness for thus saith the Lord David shall never want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel neither shall the priests the Levites want a man before me to offer burnt offerings and to kindle meat offerings and to do sacrifice continually and the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah saying Thus saith the Lord, if you can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in this season, then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant, that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne. Jesus is reigning now. The covenant is fulfilled. Amen. And so God cut covenant with himself and now we have a testament. You can't break this covenant that you have with God because God cut covenant with himself and you are accepted in the beloved, in Jesus. Praise the Lord. And with the Levites and the priests of my ministries and the hosts of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured. So will I multiply the seed of David, my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, Considerest thou not what this people have spoken saying the two families which the Lord hath chosen he hath even cast them off thus they have despised my people and they should be no more a nation before them listen thus saith the Lord if my covenant be not with day and night and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth then will I cast away the seed the seed of Jacob and David my servant so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham Isaac and Jacob for I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy upon them hallelujah and this is a promise and we can take it we can claim it but he says you're gonna return there's a place there where your city is desolate where you feel like you're desolate and forsaken but he says you will not be termed desolate you will not be termed forsaken but your land will be called Hepzibah your land will be called Beulah and they will be married hallelujah and Hepzibah and Beulah Shegam there is restoration with the Lord thank you Jesus we need to go to Isaiah let's see Isaiah chapter 33 what is that 
Yeah, this is a heavy one. I don't think this is the right one. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to Isaiah chapter 32. Yo. Sure, this is a heavy one. Isaiah 32 from verse 14. Let's read it from verse 14. I'm going to read it here in the Amplified. This is heavy. For the palace shall be forsaken, the populous city shall be deserted, the hill and the watchtower shall become dens for wild animals endlessly, a joy for wild donkeys, a pasture for the flocks until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field and the fruitful field is valued as a forest he says the cities are forsaken everything is a wilderness the watchtower is a den there's nothing there until verse 15 until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field and the fruitful field is valued as a forest. I mean, I just opened it. I said, mistakenly, I said Isaiah 33. And I actually meant Jeremiah 33. And then we went to Psalm 126. And then the Lord said, well, go to Psalm th uh, Isaiah 33. And I opened up here. But just there's, there's some verses that I marked here. And it's Isaiah 32. And this is what it says. And now I understand it. Until the Spirit is poured upon us from on high, verse 15, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is valued as a forest. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness, moral and spiritual rectitude in every area and relation will abide in the fruitful field. And the effect of righteousness will be peace, internal and external. And the result of righteousness will be quietness and confident trust forever. My people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, in safe dwellings, and in quiet resting places. That's it, Lord. I like that. But it, the wrath of God, shall hail come down, overpowering on the forest, the army of the Assyrians, and the capital city shall be utterly humbled and laid prostrate. Verse 20. Happy and fortunate are you who cast your seed upon all waters. When the river overflows its banks... For the seed will sink into the mud, and when the waters subside, the plant will spring up. You will find it after many days and reap an abundant harvest. You who safely send forth the ox and the donkey to range freely. <laughs> what? Blessed are they that sow beside all waters, that send forth thither the feet of the ox and the ass. This is what it says in the Amplified, verse 20, Isaiah 32, verse 20. Happy and fortunate are those who cast your seed upon all waters. When the river overflows its banks, does it sound something like, Lord, return, return the streams of the south, the streams of the Negev, Negev, whatever you, how you pronounce it, the streams of the south, let it return. At the sound of the torrents. At the sound of the torrents. The sound of the abundance of rain. It's coming. It's coming. The torrents of heaven is coming. And the rivers are going to start overflowing. And he says yeah, Happy and fortunate are you who cast your seed upon all waters. When the river overflows its banks. For the seed will sink into the mud. And when the waters subside the plant will spring up. You will find it after many days. And reap an abundant harvest. An abundant harvest. You who safely send forth the ox and the donkey to range freely. You who safely send forth 
the ox and the donkey. You send forth the ox. You shall not muzzle an ox while it is treading corn. It's talking about looks. I, I believe this is talking about evangelism. And talking about the work of God. And it says, send out the ox and the donkey to range freely. So that they can go so they're not bound. So I'm going to take up an offering right now. For love one. Hallelujah. For evangelism. Thank you, Jesus. See God, blessed and happy and fortunate are you. Who sow a seed upon many waters. As a seed, as a point of contact, as a faith seed. This is also the PayPal. As a faith seed. I mean, this is scripture upon scripture upon scripture that I didn't even prepare. I believe that the word of the Lord is alive. And tonight we can see the results of just following the leading of the Holy Spirit. As many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. And the word of the Lord is coming forth clearly. He says, there is a returning of the streams of the south. When the Lord returned again, turned again our captivity, we were like them that dreamed. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Then Jeremiah, he says, there's a returning at the, at the, at the, the sound of the torrents. There's the abundance of rain. Then Jeremiah 33, we is prophesying and saying, though the city is desolate, there will be rivers, there will be waters, there will be restoration, and there will be the voice of them crying and the vo that says the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever and it will be an amazing place and the, the blessings will be there and the everything we read all the promises in Jeremiah 33 here yeah, Isaiah 32 he's talking about restoration he says that there's a place that is forsaken then verse, verse 15 says this place must be forsaken until the spirit is poured upon us from on high the Spirit is poured upon us from an eye, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is valued as a forest. This is restoration. This is restore. This is reviving the works of thine hands in the midst of the years. This is a restoration seed. I believe the Lord is asking for a restoration seed for many of you as a point of contact to your faith. This is what he's saying until the Spirit is poured out. Then, verse 20 says, Happy and fortunate are you who cast your seed upon all waters when the river overflows its banks. For the seed will sink into the mud and when the waters subside, the plant will spring up and you will find it after many days and reap an abundant harvest. You who safely sent forth the ox and the donkey to range freely. Sure, that's a word. That's a word to take up. I, I cannot but take up an offering and be obedient to the Lord. There's the banking details of the ministry. Uh, this is the ox and the donkey. <laughs> this is the priestly offering and the honorarium. Bless the Lord. Oral Roberts also used to talk about seed faith. Putting a seed to your faith. Praise the Lord. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Father, now we plead the blood of Jesus of every person, Lord, and we call forth restoration upon the work of your hands. We call a harvest in for every person that's sowing, Lord. We release the blessing of the Lord. Lord, the torrents, the sound of the abundance of rain, the deep that call to deep. Lord, let there be an abundance. Let there be an overflowing, an overflowing river. Lord, that overflows on its banks, Lord. Lord, bless those who cast their seed upon the waters and their bread upon the waters. Zanga, after many days, they will come back and find an abundant harvest. Hey, Rabbi, it will come back to them. Lord, that send out the ox and the donkey to range freely. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the promise of restoration. Lord, we call for restoration. Lord, we need restoration lord we need restoration make us like them that dream lord fill our mouths with laughter this is for believers this is for believers those who have an ear to hear what the spirit of the lord is saying i mean this is it there's nothing else that i can say 
This is absolutely the word of God. I didn't prepare this. This is the word of God. We just opened up and we followed the leading of the Holy Spirit. This is beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A restoration seed. That's it. It's always the promise is always made to a seed. The seed of Christ. The seed of righteousness. The seed. The seed. God is a sower. And his children, he sowers. Hallelujah. His children, his true children, are sowers. God so loved the world that he gave. Love will always bring about a giving, a generosity and a cheerful giving out of people. That's what love will do. That is a key. That is an operation of the spirit. And they will not, you will not, unless you become generous, unless there's a giving spirit in you, you'll not walk in the manifest presence of God just the fact I've seen it in my life when I and we are on a two week journey into the manifest presence of the Lord and the two weeks are almost up I think we're just going to continue we're just going to go from glory to glory we're just going deeper and deeper and deeper but there must be generosity and what I have learned in my life that the times that I sow and that I am generous and I mean a cheerful giver you generous you sometimes you empty your bank account that's just absolute worship and thanksgiving Goof. and you give when there's that generosity there is a closeness and an open heaven there's a closeness and an awareness of Jesus with you it's like you become sensitive it's like that that money if it's seed because he gives seed to the sower that money that you keep back and you you reluctant to sow it's as if it dulls the senses the spiritual senses it's as if it dulls you and makes you blunt uh, insensitive desensitized to the things of God restless but when you let go and you're obedient and you sow that seed and you trust God and you put your faith in God it releases something of an awareness of the present presence of the Holy Spirit the manifested presence of God I believe with all my heart that you cannot walk in that glory in that holy of holies when you are a greedy person that you will not even come through the veil you will not there, there has to be God loves a cheerful giver God loves a cheerful giver are you a cheerful giver God loves you God loves you God loves you amen so I take that with thank you, Jesus. Absolutely. Praise Jesus. Heal me. Yeah, amen. Is it my stem? Glory. Thank you, Father. Don't worry. An evangelist must sound like this, like he's been preaching. Otherwise, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe. I don't know. Lord Jesus, heal my voice. Everybody pray for my voice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Amen. Well, guys, do you have your communion elements ready? Oh, sure. I've got scriptures. Look here. All these scriptures. It's all on the restoration. <clears throat> it's all on restoration. Maybe we must read just some of them. Get your communion elements ready. Thank you, Father, for every person that's purposing in their hearts right now. As the Holy Spirit leads. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as every person purpose in their hearts to give this month, thank you, Lord, that there will be abundant harvest. A constant harvest it will not just be a one-time thing but a constant every month of the year every month of the year harvest in your season in Jesus mighty name and that the abundant inheritance that is ours through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior through the New Testament of his blood that is made available for us Lord that it will come upon every person that every seed will be blessed that Lord faith will be activated and the restoration will be the order of the day in every single area of our lives sevenfold restoration in Jesus mighty name I release that anointing glory <laughs> glory man this is an anointing an anointing of the Holy Spirit Lord we have dipped this bread in oil 
this word, Lord. We dip it in oil of the Holy Spirit. We dip it in the oil of the Holy Spirit, Lord. I've got some bread here, and I'm going to dip it in oil. I'm just going to dip it in oil. Oh, I don't know how safe this frankincense and myrrh and spikenard and calamus and everything. That's so sure. beautiful, Jesus. Man, love that smell. Lord, we dip this word in oil in Jesus' mighty name, and we call that seed blessed and anointed in Jesus' mighty name. All you that have already sowed. And Father, I thank you, Lord. The people will sow as you lead. And I pray that you will be obedient to sow what the Lord tells you to sow. If he doesn't tell you, don't sow anything. But if he tells you, please do sow that. If he tells you to sow, then sow. Amen. In Jesus' name. Bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just get your communion elements ready. I just want to read a verse or two here. I've got so many. I have seen his ways, but I will heal him. I will lead him and restore comfort to him and to his mourners. Guys, go to Isaiah 57 verse 18. If you take one scripture, man, this is my scripture, man. I mean, what's the chance? What's the odds of printing out five pages of scripture and this is not supposed, this is supposed to be the last page. And I just pick it up and my eyes fall on this scripture and this is the scripture. My Lord. This scripture changed my life. It changed everything. This one scripture. When the Lord gave me this scripture a few months ago, January, man, end of January, the Lord gave me this scripture, this one. When I got it, I knew everything is about to change. My whole life changed because of this one scripture. Everything, my finances, everything started changing. My ministry, the time I spent with Jesus, my family, relationships, everything started changing. And this is, here's the scripture again. My God, my God, my God, now I'm excited. Go to Isaiah 57. Now, now, when the Lord gives you this scripture, then you can know. Then you can know. It's a done deal. Listen, you must take the scripture for yourself. The Lord says, I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. My God, did you not answer my God? Did you not fulfill your promise? Did you not fulfill your word unto me? Oh my Lord, thank you for reminding me of this. I forgot about this. <clears throat> I have seen his willful ways. This is the Amplified. Listen. Isaiah 57 verse 18. In the Amplified. I have seen his willful ways. You might have had willful ways. I have a lot of willful ways. God says I have seen his willful ways. But I will heal him. This is God's grace. His mercies endureth forever. God says he's seen your willful ways. But I will heal you. I will lead him also. And will recompense him. And restore comfort. The comfort of holiness. The comfort of the comforter. The comfort of the Holy Spirit. Recompense him and restore comfort to him. And he's not going to stop only with you. And to those who mourn for him. And 
wasn't this the truth, Jesus, this year? My Lord. You take that scripture. It's yours. And look what the Lord will do. Look what the Lord will do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I receive that scripture and I thank you. I take it with all my heart that I believe. And I know more than anybody and better than anyone what is happening right now. I know, I see it, I sense it, I feel it. And I recognize and I acknowledge the word of the Lord. And I take it and I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And I thank you, Lord, for restoration in every area of my life, every area of every person on this broadcast, on the rerun, wherever people are watching them, whatever time they are watching it, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. Let there be abundance. Let there be a, a changing of captivity. Let the cities not be termed desolate and forsaken anymore. But let there be abundance. Let there be joy. Joy that the sound and the voice of joy will be heard again in our cities and in our lives, in our businesses, in our ministries, in Jesus' name. Father, I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you, Father. Glory. Thank you, Lord, for your word. It came flesh. Thank you for your body. Let's eat. Mm. Woo. My tongue is on fire man <laughs> oh that oil is strong oh it almost takes my breath away oh mm. Mm. man that's spicy wow my lord mm, but it's good taste and see that the lord is good lord this is good <laughs> My Lord. Listen to my body, Father. Sure, that's spicy. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. I saw that. Sheda Gaba Gada Belimento. And it will come to you and it'll take the people's breath away. Ooh, Shagabaga Zakate. And it's good. Thank you, Jesus. And this is your blood shed for me. And the Lord says, drink ye all of it. Because I receive all the benefits. And I take advantage of every benefit of every single drop of the blood of Jesus that was shed for me. I thank you, Lord. I receive all of it. Oh, all of it. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. God, thank you. Thank you for my house. Thank you for my car. Thank you for my houses. Thank you for facilities for Loveborn. Thank you for houses and facilities and office parks and studios in Gandalamande Redi Dishi Otoko. Thank you for vehicles, Lord, equipment, tools, cameras, Gengala Satabaranda. Thank you for accommodation. Thank you for teams of evangelists trained up and sent all over the world. Rengo Zadalabata. Thank you, Lord, for teams of people and many, many churches that is taught how to practice the present presence of the Holy Spirit and drawn into that secret place of the Most High. Shela Gadogorodoso. Thank you for trips all over the world, Lord. Thank you for all the vehicles. All the transportation is organized. I receive it all tonight in the name of Jesus. Restore what the devil has stolen. Wipe our slates clean, Lord. Lord, you know our willful ways. But you said you will heal us. Lord, and you said that you will bring us recompense and you will restore comfort to us, to me, to everyone watching, and to those who mourn for us. Oh, Lord, for all the people that mourn for us, restore comfort to them in Jesus' name. Everyone that's mourning for love born. That the Lord has awoken a spirit of intercession in your heart to pray for love born, this channel, this ministry. 
the Lord has awoken a spirit of intercession for you and some of you want that okay the Lord is saying he will restore comforts to those who mourn for you and I take it as love born now and the Lord is saying those who have cried for me Charles Kruger for prophet Charles Kruger in evangelist Charles Kruger and have wept and have prayed for me and those who have prayed for this ministry the Lord will restore your comforts as a sign and a confirmation of this word take it and in Jesus name I release that and I pray that over your life thank you father and even those who have prayed for you the Lord will re restore comforts to them as well Amen. that's a word for you Amen. thank you and bless you and some of you have a desire to pray for this ministry please do there's going to be a blessing released upon you definitely absolutely thank you thank you this is a powerful word i'm going to watch it again this is powerful this is a powerful evening i know it sure thank you so much everybody thank you this is carol cross gave me this shirt it's the first time i'm wearing it bmw puma what 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 this is like a prophetic she said i just need to lose some weight it's a bit tight but sitting all right <laughs> i need to lose some weight but this this is a prophetic she sent me this it said lord i trust you for charles's x6 bmw x6 or x5 or whatever x x something whatever so thank you jesus i am i put on this prophetically as a prophetic manifestation tonight lord and i take every single word of restoration that you have spoken i take it with my whole heart with everything in me lord and i thank you holy spirit in jesus mighty name i receive this restoration this reviving this recompense heal me and restore comforts to us lord in jesus name and to love born and take love born to another level father in jesus name facilities open up now in jesus name properties be released i lose you in the heavens in jesus name amen thank you father car come in jesus name. cars and houses amen thank you jesus bless you lord bless you jesus saga braga zakate i release that upon your life in jesus mighty name if i can get an amen if you can agree with me if you can agree with love born and just say amen then I agree that your miracle will also take place in Jesus name. Amen. Shenga da gado robo shega. Thede redeve setele redevete. You don't have to type it. Just say amen. Just agree with me. Amen. Bless you guys. I love you. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, let's see if I get up. Maybe it's six o'clock. Yes, I will see you at six. Amen. Sanda bakatele. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.